Hi, I'm Stephanie, and welcome to Repair and Replace, your online resource for quick and easy repairs. Today, we're going to perform a continuity test on your dryer heating element. When a dryer fails to produce heat, it is best to eliminate the potential problems step by step. For an in-depth guide, watch the videos below. If you've reset your breaker and your dryer still doesn't have heat, then move on to the continuity test. A dryer heater works similarly to an incandescent light bulb. As electricity flows through the element, the resistance in the material generates heat. The element can burn out over time with normal use and may appear singed or cracked. This can be difficult to see as even a small break can cause an element to fail. It's best to perform a continuity test as this will determine if a continuous electrical path is present. Without continuity, the heater will not function. All you'll need is your dryer heating element and a digital or analog multimeter. To be safe, turn off the breaker and fully unplug the dryer from the receptacle. Now separate or remove the heating element. If you use an analog multimeter, set the multimeter to the lowest ohms of resistance. Next. Touch the probes together and adjust the needle until it's calibrated at zero. If you're using a digital multimeter, also set the dial to the lowest ohms of resistance. To test for continuity, take the probe from the multimeter and touch it to one of the terminals. Now touch the second probe to the remaining terminal. If the element has continuity, your multimeter should read anywhere from 0 to 50 ohms. If there is no reading on the multimeter or very little change, then there is no continuity and you will have to replace the element. If you found this video useful, hit like. To keep up to date on Repair and Replace, please subscribe. And for the widest selection of parts, low prices, and same-day shipping, explore our website below. Thanks for watching.